Hi, this is Dave. <clears throat> in this updated video, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the batteries in a Casio Forester model FT500W watch. The tools I'll use are a small Phillips screwdriver or flat screwdriver, tweezers, and a safety pin or straight pin. This particular model of the Casio Forester uses two batteries, a CR1616 for the light and a smaller SR920SW for the watch mechanism, which is also a type number 371. An important note is that the Casio Forester model FT500WVB, that's Victor Bravo, uses only one battery for both functions, an SR621W or a high capacity SR626W. So for the Casio Forester, Model FT500W. First, remove the back plate by removing the four small screws with a small Phillips or flat screwdriver. The battery sizes and watch battery location information are printed on the battery cover here. Next, we need to locate the latch of the battery hold down cover. It's on the back of the watch about opposite the 10 position of the front. So it's located here. After the latch is located, a safety pin or straight pin works great to release the latch. I'm going to push the safety pin in between the latch and the battery cover to release the latch and it will pop open. Now you can see the safety pin as it's pushed through on the inside of the latch. A safety pin also works great to lift up each battery. First remove the light battery, the CR1616. I'm going to place the point of the safety pin into one of the guide notches to lift up the battery. Now you'll see a white film disc. It needs to be removed in order to reveal the watch battery. Replacing the film disc can be a bit tricky. So before removing it, note how the two flat fork-like contacts are pushed through a rectangle shaped opening in the film disc. The film disc must be positioned like this in order for these contacts to touch the light battery. Remove the white film disc. Now you can see the rectangle opening of the film disc. And here you can see the location of the watch battery. Remove the watch battery, the SR920SW.
Next, replace whichever battery or batteries are not working. First would be the new watch battery. And here we want to make sure the watch battery is seated flush on the bottom of its battery compartment. Next, replace the white film disc. Note how I'm going to position the tweezers to grasp and slightly bend the film disc so that the flat contact prongs can protrude through the rectangle opening in the film disc. Then I'll slide it back into place. Replace the light battery. Push down on the latch to secure the cover. I won't show the last two steps, but next replace the back plate with the four small screws. Finally, Locate the crown here. Pull it out and turn it clockwise to set the correct time and date. Then push it back in to restart the watch. Thanks for watching this video today.